Hey, what's up, guys? This is Unbox XP. What we have here is the first 45 inch OLED ultra wide 240 hertz gaming monitor. It has display, HDMI, and USB ports, supports G Sync, FreeSync, HDR, and VRR. On the back, it has RGB lights, which light up to the color of your choice. And did I mention it's rocking a massive curve? This is the 2023 LG 45GR95QE. What we'll do is go through the unboxing, talk about design, the display, how it handles gaming, and finish with productivity. The materials used to make the LG 45 GR95 QA are plastic and metal but feel super premium. Gray and a hint of purple is the color scheme LG was going for. Their iconic gaming stand is still here but just a tad larger to hold a massive display but leaves enough room for you to put whatever you want on your desk. It weighs 24 pounds with the stand so you want to make sure you place it somewhere stable. You're able to adjust the height up and down left to right but you can't rotate the monitor. Across the top there are many vents to help keep it cool as possible plus built in fans to help prevent OLED burn in. RGB lights give you an ambient glow so when you're playing at night, less stress on your eyes. While we're still at the back, it has two HDMI 2.1 ports, one display 1.4 port, three USB ports, an optical port, and power. LG wasn't playing around when it came to the display. It's a massive 45 inch ultra wide monitor that has an 800R curved 21 by 9 aspect ratio with an OLED panel. It looks like it just wants to hug you. This translates into inky blacks with vibrant colors making it super immersive. Having ultra thin bezels adds to it as well. Whatever you throw at this monitor, OLED makes everything look awesome. The resolution of the LG 45 GR95 QE is 3440 by 1440, so at 84 pixels per inch, pixels are noticeable but doesn't affect the experience. It looks even better in dark settings, so make sure you turn off the lights and close your blinds. I feel like the LG 45 GR95 QE doesn't need the matte finish. The best way I could explain it, it makes it look like there's a very thin layer of oil on top. It looks good, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't give you the best experience with OLED. Reflections won't be an issue though. Even with the blinds wide open, I'm still able to see everything clearly. I thought something with the aggressive curve would be an issue with reflections, but this is not the case at all. Here's the LG 45 GR95 QE's controller. It has the basic buttons, and I'm going to show you how to get to the menu. You press the gear, and the first one you see is game mode. And the second one is game adjustment. The third one is picture adjustment. The fourth one is input. And lastly general. Now let's get to the main reason why people will get this monitor, which is gaming. The LG 45 GR95 QE comes with an ultra fast response time, 240Hz refresh rate, HDR and VRR, perfect for casual and competitive gamers. With the 800R curve, you feel like you're in the game. I have this connected to my PS5 via HDMI 2.1 to take advantage of all the features. The monitor isn't 4K, but what happens is it downscales the 4K image to 2K, giving it a cleaner look. Adventure games like Horizon Forbidden West and Ratchet Clank Rift Apart look too good to be true. Everything you look at, the colors just pop, all the dark scenes are inky black. Even with it being 1440p resolution, the games look so good and very detailed. It left me speechless for a couple of seconds to be honest. The massive curve makes you feel like you're actually in the world. If you ever wanted to get lost in the game, this monitor will help you do that. Playing FPS games like Warzone 2.0 and fighting games like the new Street Fighter 6 gives you the edge because of the near ultra super max instant response time, no ghosting, and up to 240Hz refresh rate. Moving around, aiming and shooting feels so good and natural. Fast paced movements look crispy. Having the massive curve may not be ideal for competitive gaming because you tend to turn your head a lot. I did get used to it in about a week. This is still an awesome experience I think every gamer has to try in person. When it comes to productivity, I use my 2021 Mac Mini M1. 45 inches lets you do things like use two windows at the same time. I usually have my homework on the left and research on the right. Or if you wanted to play games while doing homework, you can do that too. But you'll never finish your homework. PIP and PVP lets you do this. It makes the screen into a 16x9 ratio for the PS5 and for the Mac Mini it fills everything. Or if you wanted a small part of your computer screen just to show and have the game full screen, you can do that too. Text on the LG 45 GR95 QE isn't an issue at all. I didn't see any fringing in my experience even when zoomed in. As long as you're sitting at least an arm length away from the monitor, everything is going to look detailed. Video editing on the LG 45 GR95 QE is amazing. 
Being able to see everything all at once on one window makes everything so much easier. Coming from a 48 inch OLED TV, this feels so much better. The big question is, is it worth it? At first I was skeptical because the price is $1,700 before tax. Now after using it for some time, I can see why people would buy this. It's so immersive with the 800R curve, it's hard to go back to a flat screen. Now if you have the funds, I'll say get this 100%. Another alternative would be the 34-inch Alienware 3423DWF or DW, which goes for around $1,000. But this just hits different. So if you know what you're getting into, $1,700 shouldn't bother you. I've seen it on side Best Buy for $1,500. So yes, it's worth it if you have the funds. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Peace.